Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet this flower garden bookmark, which is the little bookmark that you see here in front of you. I've done a few different colors. And uh, this is a very easy pattern. It works up fairly quick if you're looking for something to add to a gift or uh, some an item for a craft sale or just something nice for yourself as a reader uh, this is a great little project for you for this project you are going to need three different colors of yarn and I'm using the Patton's Grace mercerized cotton it's a 100% cotton it's a lightweight number three yarn you're going to need about 20 yards of each of these colors, as well as, uh, or not of these colors, of any color that you would like, as well as a 3.5 millimeter crochet hook. You can also find the free written pattern for this flower garden bookmark on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com, and I will have links in uh, the description of this video for you for the pattern and as well as the yarn and uh, a crochet hook. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, feel free to grab some yarn and uh, crochet along with me. If it is your first time joining me here today uh, or you've been here but haven't yet already, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. It's updated weekly with free crochet patterns and stitch tutorials. So today I've mentioned you're going to need three colors of yarn and in this video I'm going to refer to them as colors A, B, and C. Uh, for my color A I'm going to use this gray, my color B is going to be this green color, and my color C will be this sunny yellow here. So for the project you're going to start with your color A. And this project is worked in rows lengthwise. So along the long edge of your bookmark and you're going to start by making a slip knot and working a foundation chain. Your foundation chain uh, must be a multiple of three. So using this Patton's Grace yarn you're going to start by chaining 36 and this is going to give you a bookmark that is approximately six inches long. Okay, so we're going to start by making a foundation chain of 36 stitches. Once you have your foundation chain complete, you're going to begin row one. And for row one, you're going to place a single crochet into the second chain from your hook. So one, two, single crochet into that second chain from your hook. And then in each stitch, all the way across. So at the end of this row you're going to have a total of 35 single crochet stitches. At the end of your row one you're going to chain one and turn your work. Now for rows two and three you're simply going to work one single crochet into each stitch all the way across and then chain one and turn your work. So that's for the next two rows. Work one single crochet in each stitch across. At the end of your row three, uh, I can meet you back here, but at the end of your row three you're going to change color. So I will show you how to do that and you're going to switch to your color B. At the end of your row three, so your three rows of single crochet stitches, you're going to want to switch to your color B. And this is my color B here, this green color. So to switch to your color B, when you come to your final stitch in that row, you're going to insert your hook. You're still with your color A here. Insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and draw the loop. You're then going to drop your color A Pick up your color B and place it on your hook and you're going to pull through. You're now all set to go working your color B. 
At this point, you are welcome to fasten off that other color, just snip it, uh, your color A, and then you can weave in your ends when you are finished your project. At the end, once you're all set to go with your color B of your row three, for row four, you're going to start by chaining four. And this chain four is going to count as a double crochet stitch and a chain one. And then turn your work. You're then going to skip the first two stitches. So this first stitch, which has your chain four coming out of it, skip that stitch, skip the next stitch, and into the next one we're going to work a bit of a V stitch. And that's going to be a double crochet into that next stitch, chain one, and double crochet back into the same stitch. Next, skip the next two stitches, into the next stitch, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. You're going to repeat that all the way across. Skip two stitches, double crochet into the next stitch, chain one, and double crochet into the same stitch. Skip two stitches, double crochet, chain one, and double crochet. Repeat that all the way across to your final two stitches. When you come to your final two stitches, you're going to, you've ended with a V stitch, you're going to chain one and work a double crochet into this final stitch. So skip one and double crochet into the last one. At this time, you're going to want to switch to your color C. So to switch to your color C, you're going to work your double crochet like this. You're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that final stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops, drop your color B, pick up your color C, place it on your hook, and pull through. You're now ready to go with your color C. At this time, you can fasten off your color B and then weave in your end, either as you go or later on. Once you have your color C here ready to go, you're going to chain four. And again, this counts as a double crochet and a chain one space. Turn your work. We're now going to work some cluster stitches. So you're going to skip your first chain one space and into the next chain one space into the V stitch you're going to work a cluster. To work your cluster, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook into that chain one space, yarn over and draw up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two loops. You're going to do that for a total of four times, so three more times. Yarn over, insert your hook into the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over, insert your hook in the same space, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two. You have four loops on your hook, we're going to do it one more time. And once you have five loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all five loops. Next, you're going to chain two. Then you're going to skip the next two double cro crochet stitches and into the center of that V stitch, work another cluster stitch. Chain two and repeat. So you're going to repeat that all the way across to the end of your row.
once you come to your final chain four space, you'll have finished your final cluster. You're then going to finish off by chaining one and then working a double crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. Now at this time, you're going to want to switch back to your color A. So in your color C, you yarn over, insert your hook into that third chain, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, drop your color C, pick up your color A, place it on your hook, and pull through. You can then fasten off your color C. You're then going to, for your row six, chain one and turn your work. You're now working in your color A, and we're going to start by placing a, double, a single crochet into the top of that first double crochet stitch, then single crochet into the next chain one space, single crochet into the top of your cluster stitch, work two single crochet stitches into the next chain two space. You're now going to repeat single crochet into the top of your cluster stitch, work two single crochet stitches into the next chain two space. Repeat that all the way across to your final chain four, and this time you're going to remain in your color A. At the end of this row six, you have your chain four. So you're going to, uh, after you've worked in the top of that cluster, you're going to single crochet into the chain four space and then work your final single crochet into the third chain of that starting chain four. Chain one and turn your work. Now for the next two rows, you're simply going to single crochet in each stitch all the way across. So for rows seven and eight, single crochet in each stitch all the way across. At that time, you can fasten off if you would like or you can leave your color A attached. It's up to you. So work two more rows of single crochet in each stitch all the way across. Now at the end of your row eight, we are going to work a very simple edging around our bookmark. Now it's up to you as far as if you want to fasten off you can and then rejoin your yarn into one of the corner stitches here on the shorter ends or you can leave your yarn attached uh, if you would like. I used color A for my edging so uh, I'm just going to leave it attached. If you've left it attached uh, you're just going to chain one or if you need to join your yarn with a slip stitch and then chain one into each into any of the corner stitches. We're then going to start by working across this short edge and uh, you may have already woven in your ends. I'm going to leave mine here for a little bit longer, but you're going to start by working nine single crochet stitches evenly across this short end. So just uh, pay attention to where you're placing your stitches you're going to want them to be fairly even and uh, just make sure that here at the center of your bookmark you're hitting stitch number five and that should help you keep fairly even. your corner stitch you're going to work three single crochet stitches all into that same corner and that's as you can see here it's going to bring you around the side you're then going to single crochet 
into each stitch all the way across, working three single crochets into that corner stitch. Stitch, work three single crochet stitches. We'll bring you around to your shorter end once again. You're then going to work nine single crochets across that short end. There's five. Into your corner stitch, work three single crochet stitches and then single crochet in each stitch all the way across. When you come to your final corner stitch there, you're going to work three single crochets into your corner stitch, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, then you can fasten off weave in any ends and block your bookmark if it's desired and that's all there is to making this little flower garden bookmark so thank you so much for joining me on this tutorial and uh, once again don't forget to subscribe and i look forward to seeing you again soon happy crocheting bye